photo, Sean M. Happy, Getty, the Philadelphia Eagles didn't steal Dallas Goddard from the Dallas Cowboys because the latter didn't want him. With that narrative having now been routinely exposed as false at every turn following the 2018 NFL Draft, there's ironically a truth to the inverse that failed to catch headlines in a similar way. In October of the 2017 season, the Eagles did all they could to poach then-rookie Blake Jarwin from the Cowboys' 10-man practice squad. Seeing what was about to take place and being exceptionally high on Jarwin themselves, the Cowboys promoted him to the active roster as a means of enacting a force field around their young tight end. The end result was quarterback Kellen Moore being released and the Eagles were left to walk away empty beak. Reed, Rico gathers facing bubble burst heading into pivotal 2018, NFL roster rules dictate a player on one team's practice squad can choose to join another team at any time if the new team places them on the active roster immediately. If the incumbent team promotes them to their own 53-man roster, however, he's prevented from leaving. So you see, the Eagles didn't steal Godard, but the Cowboys stole Jarwin, and for good reason. Fact is, albeit, an unpopular reality for those who are gifting Rico gathers an unearned shot at the throne left vacant by the retirement of Jason Witten, the Cowboys see starter potential in Jarwin and would rather not face him twice per season going forward. Having also lost veteran James Hanna, who called it a career due to his knee injury, selecting Dalton Schultz out of Stanford with the 137th overall pick is designed to create direct competition for Jarwin and Jeff Swain while Gathers works this offseason to climb from TE4 and survive final cutdowns at the end of August. Until further notice, the job of TE1 belongs to Swaim, having paid his dues behind Witten and Hannah for three seasons, with Jarwin nipping at his heels heading into training camp, a player two NFC East teams held a tug-of-war over only a few months ago. An impressive, raw talent with a strong upside, the title, OK Native delivered 616 yards and five touchdowns in 28 games in the black and orange. That stat line won't knock off anyone's socks, but what he brings to the table so eerily matches that of Witten, with added athleticism, it becomes easy to discern why the Cowboys have so much love for his ceiling. Blank, underscore, blank, underscore, blank, underscore, blank, asterisk, asterisk, are you a Cowboys fan on the ledge after Des Bryant and Jason Witten left? Don't worry, Patrick Walker of 247 Sports joined Will Brinson on the Pick 6 podcast to explain why it's all good in Dallas. Want a 30 minute ish daily dose of football in your podcast app inbox by 6am to get you through that commuter gym trip? Subscribe via iTunes, via Stitcher, via TuneIn, via Google Play asterisk asterisk blank underscore blank underscore blank underscore blank. It's telling that Gathers, who himself has tremendous upside when fully committed, was not activated following week 8 after suffering a concussion during the preseason. Instead of seeing what he could do later in the regular season, the Cowboys opted to use the roster spot to instead keep Jarwin on the team. The latter is already a better blocker, a key talent in such a run-heavy offense, and hasn't shown any issues with focus. For all of Gather's wonderful talents, he must still drastically improve his blocking for a true shot at ascending the depth chart and, having admitted he wasn't prepared until now, his third season in the NFL, after the Cowboys have invested a lot of money and resources to molding him into a professional football player, it's safe to say they'd like to see a return on their investment in the regular season before they are all in on his future. And no further notice, it's Swaim's job and Jarwin is the golden up and comer. It's possible Schultz inserts himself into the TE2 or maybe even the TE1 conversation at some point in 2018, but not before training camp, at the earliest. Get used to hearing the name of the former cowboy turned cowboy, because it'll be called a lot in 2018. And thankfully for Dallas, it won't be for the Eagles.